Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello farmers, welcome back to Farmers Dynasty and today we're doing another test. Today it's going to be on the Seedrills. Right here, the new compared to the old. Uh, the efficiency, which one is more, you know, well, this one, the newer one, should be more efficient but by how much, if it is. And also, is it cheaper to seed the field yourself compared to a hired worker? We don't actually have to hire a hired worker because we can just click on the field and see how much a worker would charge us to do the certain grain type that we got uh, the field the field that we're doing is right across the street from the house and the grain that we got in both seedrills is lupine because well that's why I had it in storage so uh, yeah we got we got lupine here so let's just uh, get the first thing out of the way so we're like I said right across the street if I were to hire a worker to sow it with lupine he would charge us 868 simple enough we don't have to hire a worker we already know what he would charge us so that is part one of the test um so like i said uh i got lupine and both cedrils i'm going to do it with this cedril first uh it's been so long since i used the cedril i didn't realize that uh, the cedril is always down on this one so the one thing that's going to be kind of a little bit hard about the test i'm going to try to be very careful about this it's not like farming simulator in Farmer's Dynasty, if, as long as you're on a field and you got the seed rule down, it's going to plant seed. So I got to be careful about overlapping and, um, uh, you know, just keep going over the same area that I've already seeded, which is kind of hard to do with this one here when you can't lift up and get it off the ground. So, it, you know, yeah, it's going to be kind of difficult to kind of do a very accurate test. It should be close enough, though. Uh, at least with the newer seed drill, like when I, if I just go straight up and down the field, I can lift up the seed drill and get myself lined up and do it perfectly. Um, yeah, the newer, the other one uh, is going to be a little more difficult. And then we'll see how much uh, seed that we use per seed drills, see how much more efficient this one actually is. And then we'll also compare it to how much seed I used. Um, what we'll do is I'll see how much seed I've used in the newer seed drill. And then we go down to the store and buy the amount of seed that I used, see how much it cost and compare it to how much the hired worker would be. Hope you all follow that. So without me just bumbling on any further, I'm going to hop right into the smaller of the linear. linear. I never knew how to pronounce that, but uh, the linear tractor, the 94 horsepower, more than enough capable of doing what we're doing. So if I right click, we can see it's got 360 kilograms in the tank. And this is why I'm picking kind of a small field. This this seed drill should be able to see the whole field, I would think, with that much. I don't know. So yes, I'm going to get right to work. Uh, start seeding this field. And when I get near the end, I'll bring it back and we can see how much seed I've actually used. I'm probably going to get a lot of warning messages because the field's not plowed or cultivated. So that's going to be a little bit of annoying. But you don't have to watch it. I do. So I'll see you in a while. Well, I'm nearing the end with the old seed drill. And wow, this thing uh, does not really have a slow speed to seed at if you wanted. I mean, you can. I'm doing 35, 36 kilometers an hour seeding with this thing. I have gone back and refill the seed drill with seed because I ran out. So this is actually the second tank. All right, how much of the field did I get done? 99.66, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Uh, so, add 155 to that total. So this seed drill, is that correct? 515, yeah, 515 kilograms with the old seed drill. So we can check the money on it later when we head down. So again, this old seed drill used 515 kilograms of seed to seed that field. 
So if you've been watching the test, you know what comes next. I'm going to reload the game. Hook this tractor up to the newer seed drill. We'll see that field and see what the total is. So, wait a second. All right, so here we are. 860 kilograms of lupine in the same exact field. I shouldn't have to go back and refill it because, well, you know, math says I shouldn't. So, yes, I, I, I know my field is not plowed or cultivated. So, yeah, when you seed with the newer seed drill, you're pretty much limited at, well, you see the speed I'm going right there. I'm just going to say 12 kilometers an hour. The other seed drill, uh, as fast as your tractor wants to go. So, time-wise, yeah, maybe the older one, if you're doing small fields, but... Mm -hmm. You will have to go back to the farm and refill the seed drill, so you could actually end up losing all that time that you were saving anyways. Anywho, uh, it's probably going to take me longer to actually see this field, even though this is a wider implement, just because of the speed I'm going. At least I can control the tractor a little bit better. So I'll bring it back in just a little while and see how much seed we use out of this guy. Getting somewhat near the end with the new seed drill. And I've been thinking, I'm, I'm guessing, uh, by the way it's going, I was guessing it's going to be like the same total as the harvester situation where this is going to be 20% more efficient than the older one. I mean, it's going to be my guess. That's what the number is going to come out to be. I mean, we are going to use less, that's for sure. I can say that for sure. Um, but yeah, my, I guess when I do the percentages, because that's what we're going to be doing, it's not just a matter of taking what the new one used compared to the old one subtract it we got to do it percentage wise because that's how you're going to get a true reading on it and did you know if uh if i plot and cultivate the field i get a better crop i hope when the new patch comes out that warning si warning symbols don't come on constantly i will also say that uh you can seed with the new seed drill and the smaller of the tractors but the weight of this is kind of uh, maybe too much so I already kind of forgot the total of the field that was actually seeded by the old it was like 99.6% I mean we should be pretty darn close what are we at here 98 so whatever um, so you can see right now I've used about 430 kilograms All right, uh, ninety-nine point seven. So yeah, we we are pretty much at the same total of the field. Uh, Four twenty-four is my total. So hold on a second. Oh wait, what did I say? Four twenty-four. All right. So if I do some quick math here, uh, I said quick math, peanut. Uh, yeah. So we use 436 kilograms. Uh, now I need to get my phone out and do percentages here. So hold on just a second. All right, my trusty calculator says the newer Cedral, while it's not 20% more efficient, it's 15% more efficient compared to the old Cedral. Now we just have to take consideration, like I said, the old Cedral you can't raise or lower so once you're over a field if you start doing like circles I and mean, if you just go around and work your way around you can see here kind of my tire tracks with a newer seed drill I was making like donuts and kind of going in but I can raise and lower the seed drill so I'm not wasting seed with an older seed drill you can't raise or lower it so I mean you'd have to be more precise about not overlapping but anyways, uh, I was very careful with the older seed drill. I kind of more went up and down the field, trying not to overlap, and I didn't overlap hardly at all. But 15% more efficient is the newer seed drill. Now what we need to do is we're going to head on down to the store. We need to quote unquote see how much the seed costs for lupine and see how much it costs us to put seed down and then compare it to how much the worker would charge us to see the field um i wrote that total down somewhere uh it was 868 dollars the worker was going to charge us so i'll meet you down at the store all right so here we are at the store 
So lupine, we use 436 kilograms. It's going to be kind of hard to get it exactly. You know what? That's that's pretty close. 422 kilograms of lupine costs us $301. So the worker is almost, well, I shouldn't say almost. He's over double um, to charge us for seeding that field. If you have the older seedrill, uh, 515 530 uh close enough um 360 dollars so even using the older cedral it was cost us 360 dollars the worker is going to charge us 868 so yeah you're almost paying well not almost excuse me you're paying more than double to hire a worker to seed your field let me rephrase this that field there <laughs> i can't test every field the pricing may be different but that field there uh, yeah, they're charging us more than double to seed a field. So definitely cheaper to seed the field yourself. Um, yeah, you're saving yourself quite a bit of money right there, uh, for sure. So in the final test, we'll hop back up to our tractor, which is easier to do to take a bus. So the newer seed drill compared to the older one, 15% more efficient on the on testing on the field across from the farmhouse uh, it is 1.3 hectares but we did it percentage wise so yes 15 percent more efficient and if you were to hire a worker the worker is going to charge you oh double more than double uh, on this field uh, it cost us like 310 dollars to see the field the worker was going to charge us 868 dollars to see the field and that is the same crop because there's different prices uh, let me show you here because maybe some people don't know this. Um, so, yeah, actually the totals are the same. Okay, I thought they were different. Interesting. Yeah, so it doesn't matter what you uh, look at for totals. It's the same price. I thought the prices were different. But, yeah, see, he was charging. It's going to charge us lupine, $868, and we seeded it. Seeded it? <laughs> we put seed in the field for like $310. But that's going to do it for the test for the seed drills. Hopefully this was informative to you. Hopefully it helped you out, made some decisions. Um, it's not as confusing as hiring a helper to uh, harvest your field and trying to figure that out. But uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll see you next time in Farmer's Dynasty. But until then, have a good one.